Crafty Gemini. I post weekly crafting, cooking, and organic gardening videos right here on my YouTube channel. Before I jump into the video tutorial I'll be showing you this week, let's talk a little bit about the most obvious change you probably noticed is my hair. I chopped it all off this week. After having the baby last year, I lost a lot of it, and it was really getting thin, and I just needed a new do. So... It's really light and fluffy and I love it. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about my new haircut in the comments below. Now let's jump into what we're working on today. It's still a little chilly, it's been cold here. We've actually had a couple of hard freezes in Florida. So I know that a lot of you out there in the rest of the country and the world are probably freezing your little booties off. So I've come up with a great project that it actually requires a pattern that I'm giving to you for free. It's in two sizes, adults and children, and here's what it is. A cute little reversible fleece hat with the ear flaps. This is the child size. It's completely reversible. And then the adult size is, whoops, okay? And I only have these two sizes, but I would say they're like one size fits most. Even the child one fits my head. It's just a little bit snug. I'll show you here. And it fits my son and he's three and it fits him fine. So you can see any child, I mean, if they're like a teenager or older, I would probably just go with the adult size one here. You can see the little ear flaps, super cute, and it covers your forehead. And the one that we're going to be working on today is actually this little one here. It has white and then these crazy polka dot fleece fabric. And I'm also going to teach you how to make it with or without a little decorative trim right here. If you don't want to add anything um, to the ear flaps, you can also just make it like this one. I made this one for my husband. It doesn't have anything on it. Just plain, you know. You can rock it like a little beanie and it has the ear flaps on it. So I think it's a great project that a ton of you out there are going to want to do. And before we waste any more time, let's start working on our project. So I designed this pattern in two different sizes. One for adults, which is one size fits most, and another one would be a child size. My son wears this one fine and he's three and he has a lot of hair, but I think even a two or three year old is fine. So pretty much a child of any age can wear it. And then if they're teenagers or older, just go ahead and make the adult size. To download the pattern pieces that you need to create this fleece ear flap hat, just remember to click open the description box underneath this video and the links will be right there waiting for you. Also, if you don't know where to find fleece fabric, I'll include some links in the description box below as well on where you can find some really comfy and nice fabrics to use for this project. So depending on the one that you want to make, Click on the link in the description box below and you can print out the pattern. One will say adult, the other one will say child. And then once you print them out, all you need to do is cut around the dark lines around each of the pattern pieces. There's only two pattern pieces that you need. It's this one and then this one that will be connected here. I'll show you how to tape that up in a second. This little square here is just to show you so you can double check and see if your printer printed it at the correct scale. The white part inside the box should be exactly one inch by one inch. So if you print this out and you take a, a ruler to it, it doesn't measure correctly, go ahead and change some of your printer settings. You want to make sure that you're not printing it like fit to page or anything. Just print it exactly how it's been saved for you, how I created the PDF. And that, and that will give you the correct size that you need. Now that our pattern is set and ready to go, let's talk about the fabric. I'm gonna be using fleece today, and I'm using two fabrics because we're gonna be having one on the outside and one on the inside, which is going to make this hat completely reversible. So keep that in mind when you're selecting the fabrics that you wanna use. You don't have to use fleece. You can also use something that's warm, maybe wool on the inside, a stretch cotton knit, whatever you wanna do, just play around with it. So for the amount of fabric, you can use some larger scraps that you may have. I would say go with half of a yard if you're going to be buying it half a yard of each which is going to give you more than enough but just in case you make any mistakes that way you'll have some extra fabric to play around with so we'll say half a yard of two different fabrics that you want one for the outside and one for the lining okay so the fleece is going to have more stretch in one direction than the other so if I tug on this let's figure out which side is which you can see it stretches nicely this way and if I pull it this way it has some stretch but it's not as stretchy so we definitely want to note where the stretch is because if you look on your pattern I have here a little arrow that tells you the stretch the stretch needs to be going left to right when I cut out this pattern piece so let me make sure yeah my stretch is going left to right when I lay my pattern piece out like this so then you're gonna need to cut four of each fabric so I'm gonna go ahead and cut four out of this white and then also of my polka dotted fabric Now for a second pattern piece, 
Notice again, we have the stretch going left to right, and also we have something else here. It says place on fold, meaning this edge is not gonna be a raw edge like this. I need this to be on a fold. So when we open it up, we're gonna get a strip that's double this, okay? So my stretch is still going left to right, meaning I have to fold it back this way. And now I have a fold here, right? We're not gonna cut that. I'm gonna lay this right there on the fold, and I'm gonna work my way around with my rotary cutter. The only place we wanna make sure we have that fold is right there where the pattern piece tells us. So when I open it up, you get that. And then remember to cut one out of the other fabric as well. So once you've cut out all your pattern pieces, you should end up with two that look like this, right? And then four of these and four of these. Now we take our longer pieces here with the pretty side facing up. I usually put the fuzzier side going this way. And then you're just gonna fold it here and match up these two short ends and use a quarter inch seam allowance to stitch this edge up and do the same thing for your other piece. Okay, so I've sewn these up. You can see that's gonna be what your headband part looks like with the ear flaps. You can now set that aside and start working on the top part of our hats. You have four pieces here. Just grab any two and layer them pretty side to pretty side, like this. And then we're gonna start stitching using the same quarter inch seam allowance. We're gonna start just anywhere here at the top, somewhere in the middle, and you're gonna stitch a quarter inch seam all the way down on one side, okay? And then you're gonna repeat that for the other ones too. Now we're gonna take these two, open them up, Pretty side to pretty side again. Match up that intersection point right there. And if you want, you can get a pin and place it there so you make sure that you have that going exactly right. And then we're gonna stitch this down this way. A quarter inch seam allowance all the way over and around to the other end. Okay, so we have our two separate parts that are gonna make up our little ear flap hat and let's start putting them together. So you wanna have the top part pretty side out, meaning all the seams should be hidden in the inside, okay? So I have that one right. Now for the band, you want it to be inside out, meaning I should be able to see the seam here that we have sewn. And then I'm gonna take one in one hand, one in the other, and this center seam that's on this band, you wanna line it up with one of the seams on here. It's not gonna matter which one because it's all, gonna, it's all fully symmetrical. And I'm gonna put this over the top part matching this seam here with one of them. Okay, so I'll show you that again. The top bar should be pretty side out. Got it? One hand on my left hand. On my right hand, I have the band, but it's inside out because I see the seam allowance here. That means that the top of this hat and the inside of our band is pretty side to pretty side, which is usually how we sew. So one in my left hand, one in my right. I'm gonna drape this over here, put the whole ring around the top part, and line up this seam with one of my center seams. Then I'm gonna put a pin right there at that intersection. And then you're gonna work your way around, try not to stretch it, just work your way around and put some pins. So it should look like this, and then go ahead and repeat the same process with the other fabric as well. So we have two hats that look like this. Quickly, I'll just show you here, you should have four seams going down. The front, the part that goes over your forehead, does not have a seam right here. When you turn it to the back, the back does have a seam. So that's how you know what's the front and the back of your hat. Okay, now that we have the outer piece of our hat and the lining, you can basically just start putting it together now and sew it up. To do that, what you're gonna do is, remember the center seams that we found on the back of the forehead band? We wanna put the hat, in one in each hand, pretty sides out and then we're gonna match up this center seam on one with the center seam on the other. So I'm gonna put them one on top or one over the other one like this, matching up those center back seams, okay? So a seam here, seam here. You're gonna put a pin right there, and then you're gonna pin either way around the entire hat. Okay, so we've pinned all the way around and we're ready to sew up our hat. Now, one thing to note, if you don't want to add any decorative trimmings here to the ear flaps, you can go ahead and just sew it up like this and you'll end up with a hat that looks like this one that may be better for a male or somebody who doesn't want any kind of decorative trimming on the hat and still wants it to have the nice little ear flaps, okay? So if you were to do it like this, all you would do is, notice I've left about a two inch gap here from this center seam to the outside edge right here. We're gonna leave this open because we need something to flip the hat inside out through. So I'm gonna start stitching on either end, back stitch to secure the stitches, work my way around the side of the hat, come all the way over. Once I stop stitching here, back stitch as well, so we have this opening, then we'll flip it inside out. But if you do wanna go ahead and add some kind of decorative trimmings to come out the sides here, I'll give you a couple of ideas. On this one, I did some fleece scraps of the same blue fleece I used for the inside, you can see here, 
and I just cut some long strips, tied three of them together, and then I put it inside the hat so that when I sewed it up, it would come out looking like this. What you do want to do for this is make sure that you're cutting the strips so that the stretch of the fleece is going up and down on the strips. That way you can tug on them, pull them, and they kind of curl up and it gives it, I think, a better look. And then you can braid these if you want, like I did here, or you can leave them loose, you can do whatever you want. Feel free to use either the scrap of the fleece that you have, ribbons, trimmings, whatever you have. I actually found this really cool ball of some decorative yarn I've had in my stash for maybe like five years and I've never used it. So I thought I would add some of this to this hat here. All I've done is cut four strands each, so I cut eight total of this little decorative yarn and they measure about 12 inches long. I tied a little knot on the ends to hold them together. And as I go around and sew my hat, I'll show you when and how I insert my trimmings into the ear flaps. So before I start sewing, I'll tell you that I went ahead and I turned them into eight strands instead of four each. They were looking a little skinny, so I just went ahead and did eight for each side. So let's start sewing. We're gonna start where I've marked this line here. So I'm gonna start right here, take a few back stitches, and then start working my way around. Once I get to the ear flap here, I'll show you how to insert one of your little tassels. Okay, so I'm coming around the curve here. I can see that the peak, the lowest point on the ear flap here is right where this pin is at. Now I'm going to roll this up again, move this pin out of my way so I can put it right at the center of this ear flap, stuff it all in there, and then I wanna make sure that I'm leaving that knot sticking out so I can trim that off later, just like that. Coming around to the end, I'm going to stop right where this pin is and just backstitch to secure that in place. Okay, so here is our finished hat sewn up. Let's reach into the opening. Okay, so when you take it out, it looks a little funky. It looks just like that. So just put one inside of the other like this. Okay, so all you have left to do is to turn in that little opening that we left and top stitch that down in place. If you roll the lining a little bit out and then top stitch it in place, you get this really cool decorative edge look. So that's all I'm gonna do is roll this out and then I'm gonna top stitch and go all the way around and you'll be done. Okay, so our reversible fleece ear flap hat is complete. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, go ahead and hit it with the thumbs up below. Remember to share it across the different social media sites. And if you do give it a try, remember to take pictures and upload them to my Facebook page because we love to see what you're out there making from the Crafty Gemini tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.